In traditional boom pole operation, the boom pole is held over the head with both arms, with one arm in hand providing support near the pole's center of gravity and the other hand grasping the near end. One hand acts as the anchor, while the other hand moves the microphone up and down as needed. The weight of the extended boom pole produces increasing stress on the arms, wrists, back, and shoulders, while the head is turned sharply to the side. To position the microphone for sound capture from below, the operator tucks the pole underneath one arm using the same hand to support it. By lifting and lowering the hand, the microphone moves up and down. However, the weight of the extended pole pressing upward against the arm can potentially impair blood circulation. The goal is to reproduce the same positioning of the pole with the same level of control, but allow the operator to face the subject while keeping their arms lowered in an ergonomic and comfortable position. A connecting segment allows a control handle to be positioned near the hand. The point of support is moved to the upper body, connected to a light harness. In the standard embodiment of the invention, complete freedom of movement is possible. The operator can walk, run, or sit on a stool while working, all the while being free to operate other equipment with their free hand and position the microphone simply by turning their body. The weight of the extended part of the pole is balanced by weights on the opposite end. At the point where the connecting segment is attached to the harness, a vibration-free rotating pivot allows the operator to raise and lower the boom using the control handle. A small amount of adjustable resistance allows the pole to be held steady with little effort. A slight modification of the connecting segment allows the boom pole to be positioned below the subjects. Like all variations of this invention, the initial angle between the control handle and the boom pole can be set before use. For tight, close situations, the light duty variation allows booming from 2 to 10 feet away with minimum set interference. The small pivoting mechanism is located directly on one shoulder, and the operator moves the boom vertically simply by rotating the shoulder. For large sets and location shooting, the heavy duty variation is capable of supporting a microphone up to 50 feet away. It features greater support for counterweights, a sturdier harness, two control handles with three grips each, and seven points of adjustment. Each of the previous embodiments are supports for attaching existing boom pole equipment. A completely different idea arises by rethinking the idea of a pole. The spiroform variation employs a single spiral-shaped segment reinforced with a triangular cross-section which allows a minimum of arm movement to translate into maximum microphone movement. <laughs>